Welcome back to the next part of this tutorial series in which I'm showing you how to put your Star Wars World Republic character into Battlefront 2. So, this step, we're going to be doing the weapon. Now, my character uses a pistol. He is over Boba Fett. We have already put one of his pistols in his holster, and we're just going to put his other pistol into his hand here. So we need to import it over Boba Fett's uh, weapon, which is EA3, I believe. So we just got to find that real quick in Frosty. Gameplay Equipment Heroes EE3. There we go. So we're going to open this up and export it. We're going to export it with the character rigs weapon, weapon skeleton. We're also going to set up a samples folder for this. So we're going to go into our samples folder. We're going to select one. Let's just call it EE3. Gonna save that there and save blocks file. Alright, step one, import the battlefront mesh. We're going to import our gun mesh, which is right here. We can delete him, we don't need him. We only need the gun. Alright, so all we gotta do is get this thing lined up properly with the handle, because that is where he holds it, right? Yep, so he's gotta get that kind of lined up right there. Perfect. And we're gonna delete all these extra things. We only need one. So we're gonna select this, empty groups, we're gonna select the battlefront mesh, custom mesh, weight paint. Transfer weights, near space interlo interpolated by name, and then we can delete this. Uh, I'm actually going to create cube transformation, apply all transforms, negative 90, apply all transforms, 90. And we're going to put this back right here, and we're going to export that as Rebaku Gun Meshi. Export that, perfect. And we're also going to just do this, delete the skeleton, and I'm going to export this for Baku Gun subs for Substance Painter, because we do need to do the textures a little bit separately, a little bit differently than we did the rest of it. So let's go ahead and open it up. And Rebaku Gun subs. I'm only going to do a 1K document resolution this time around. Frankly, because this is going to be really simple. Let's go ahead and, because this is going to be a very, very small uh, gun, so we don't really need a 2K texture for this. Let's just go ahead and import the gun color, and do the same thing we did before. Do a fill layer, and substance painter, go to base color, perfect, and we only need the color in this. So we're going to open a paint layer. And what I did for the other gun in the skin was I used, I think, this kind of plastic. And I just kind of painted over it with this. Just like that. Boom. Gun texture's done. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Alright, so we can go ahead and export these textures here. So I'm going to create a new folder for this, specifically called Gun. Select that. Alright, so now I'm going to use the Battlefront Guns, it's a template I downloaded from there, uh, from the Battlefront Modding Help server, Discord server. Uh, but you can also just copy and paste this output template here. It's like a, you know, you got a key and all that. You need the CS, the NAM, and the EGB, which should be an RGB, don't know why it's called EGB. And I actually forgot to bake this texture map as well. There we go. Whoops. Okay, so we're going to go export textures, gun folder, battlefront guns, export. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and get Frost Meshy open. And then I saved the project last time, so I didn't have to recreate all that other stuff. We're going to select the EE3 that we just did earlier. We're going to go Rebaku Gun Meshi. Here it is. 
and it gets like that. And then same thing with the body. Lot 1 can be pretty high, and then the rest of it is kind of deteriorate the triangles, and then we will convert. And then we'll import the mesh over this. Export. And imports. And we'll save that as. Wait, what? Yeah, we'll save it as. There we go. And there is our gun. Oop. Where's our gun? Let's do the textures CS, NAM, RGB. We just created all of those for our gun. CS, NAM, RGB. There we go, save that. Uh, only other thing, I need to do animation swaps. So Boba Fett uh, holds his gun in two hands, and I want him to hold it in one. So we just need to find his W, like characters, hero, unlocks, no, E3 Boba. All right, and so we want the same thing, and we want it for Han Solo, just the DL44, there it is. And then we'll just open that up. So to do the animation swaps, we just need to look up asset GUID. And then those are the two numbers we need to change, and we're gonna use the numbers for on solo. So we're gonna copy that to that, and that to that, and there we go. Now I'm also going to cheat a little bit because I've already technically done this, uh, but I, I made this character for a different skin before, and he has special jetpack effects that I'm too lazy to try to replicate, so I'm just going to copy copy that, and uh, come over here and do that, and then we'll go ahead and play. There we go, Boba Fett. Let's take a look. But look at that. We got the gun in, we got the model in, no cape. Looks absolutely beautiful. Let's see how it performs in the game. All right, so apologize about the frame rate because I have so many programs open right now. It's not going to be smooth at all in OBS, uh, but it's going to be all right in the game. Uh oh, I'm not able to fly. <laughs> Mistakes have been made, I think. Yeah, I definitely messed up in that, uh, doing something with the effects, and I am unable to fly. I'll fix it, not to worry. But, yep, animation swaps seem good, the model seems pretty clean. Only issue is I'm noticing his butt kinda clips a lot. You see that? Yeah, his butt's clipping a lot. Gonna have to, uh, attempt to fix that. Yeah, probably just some... What can I do about that? Probably just try to fix the rigging. But, alright, that is going to be the end of this uh, little part of the tutorial. Sorry Boba Fett can't fly, that would have been really cool, but oh well. <laughs> I'll fix it eventually. Next time we're going to, I think, be figuring out how to do the audio. So I'll be showing you how to get audio clips and whatnot, briefly showing you how to import them and whatnot. So there you go, and I'll see you in the next part.